first ground-based ignition for the second stage of the engine for the prospective airborne complex of frontline aviation pack F-80-50 aircraft has been successfully conducted by United Engine Corporation UEC, a part of Rostec State Holding Company. The United Engine Corporation, UEC, has successfully conducted the first ground-based ignition of the second stage of the engine for the prospective airborne complex of frontline aviation pack F-80-50 aircraft. The UEC is part of the Rostec State Holding Company. Gas generators had to be prepared for the testing, along with the demonstrator engine. What is the pack F-80 flying with now? The Pack FA is currently using a first stage engine, a modernized L41. Pavel Bulat, avionics specialist and head of the Coupol group of companies, said the AI 41 is an updated version of the engines used for the Su 27, Su 30, and other models in the Red series. The engine for the T 50 was significantly upgraded from the original models, incorporating the latest control system, compressors, and so on. Nevertheless, it still falls short of the fifth generation model, and is very noticeable on radar screens, said the expert. The new second stage engine is one of the most advanced in the world, said Bullard. It enabled the T-50 to accelerate to supersonic speed, and maintain the red velocity throughout the flight without using afterburners. The speed will be as much as Mach 1. 6, about 1,200 miles per hour depending on the terrain over which the flight is taking place. The engine will also significantly improve the stealth properties of the Pack FA. Thanks to the use of new composite materials, said Bullet. The designers expect to start testing the new engine on fighter jets in 2018, and for the motor to be fully integrated in 2020. In addition to the engine, the radar station also needs to be modified and engineers need to remove the last deficiencies in the airframe concept, which, among all the aircraft flying today, is the most modern in the world, said the analyst. New fighters weapons. Colon. 1. 30mm cannon the firing unit comprises of the 9A14071K, one of the lightest cannon in its class, which is designed to destroy armored vehicles or armored enemy targets. During one flight the pilot can shoot 150 rounds from the 30mm cannon. The new weapon is a modified single-barrel GSH-301 aircraft cannon, used in Russian fighters and bombers. 2. Aircraft bombs The future T-55 generation fighter will also carry high explosive and volume detonating bombs. Sergei Rosakov, general director of the TechMash Group, stated on September 22. Ursakov said they were considering high explosive incendiary OFZAB 500 aviation bombs for the pack. FA and volume detonating ODAB 500 PMV, currently being used in Russian operations in Syria. Engineers have already produced a set of warheads for future tests. Operational principle and the use of bombs in Syria. Colon. According to the rearmament program, Russian armed forces will receive a batch of 12 T-50 fighters before the end of this year. A new contract for the supply of fifth-generation aircraft will be discussed with the Ministry of Defense at the end of 2016, after which the War Department will decide how many new aircraft are needed. The newest Russian fighter aircraft was built as the main competitor to the F-22 Raptor. The American stealth fighter distinguished itself during the Iraq War. The T-50 will go into serial production much later than the Raptor. This allows us to take into consideration all the pros and cons of the existing aircraft when constructing our own fighter. A similar situation existed when we were working on the multi-purpose fourth-generation Su-27 fighter. The prototype of the domestic aircraft came out much later than the American F-16 and took into account the shortcomings of its precursor. As a result, the domestic Sukhoi was able to beat the American in terms of combat characteristics. Quote, Vadim Kozilin, professor at the Academy of Military Sciences, told RIR. The expert noted that the T-50 would be able to use the full range of existing high-precision air-to-air missiles, as well as all precision-guided munitions. Is part of its stealth concept. Special missiles for the Pak F are being developed with a square cross-section that will allow more warheads to be carried in hatches during combat. 
missions, Cozy Lillen added.